I was watching a show that I just binged because uh, I loved season one of it. Season two came out. Love is Blind. <laughs> Love is Blind? Yes, it's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. So you, so I told- A reality I, show on Netflix. Yeah, so they start talking about money. That's why we're going to talk about it here in a second. But I mentioned it to James and, and Dave. I was like, hey, if we want to do a fun segment, this is a great one because they were literally talking about like 401ks and all of it. And it's funny and cringeworthy, all of it. Yeah, but He's like, love is blind. Yeah. I don't know. Are they blind? I don't get it. And I was so like, no. How, so does, he, how does this work? What's so he has the, no what is idea the what the show is about. This, what is the premise of this deep show? Are you ready? You're going to die. You're absolutely going to die. So they have men on one side, women on the other, and they have these things called pods. So there's these rooms that they can enter in at the opposite ends, but there is a wall in between. So you can't see them, but you can talk. It's like a paper thin wall. So you can talk to them, but you can't see them. And so the men and women will switch through different pods to meet different people uh, and start these conversations. And then naturally, of course, you kind of have chemistry with one over the other. So you meet them back in the pod to talk more. So you have like never having seen them. Yep. So you have like four days. So this is kind of like a rat in a wheel. Get ready. I mean, rat, rat in a maze. So then series of rats in the maze. So then you fall in love. <laughs> Just through, through through the paper wall. Through the paper wall. Oh and, my god, I'm gonna pee. And I know you were. I know you were. Just stay with me. It gets worse. Get ready. So then, if you propose, then you finally get to see each other. So you propose, the person accepts or doesn't accept. Then you then they meet each other. Okay, so then they see each other for the first time. So whoever does the proposal then they take them to mexico for like another two to three days and then from there if the relationship continues to go then they take them to chicago and they live in an apartment together for like three days because then the wedding is that saturday so everything's within like two and a half weeks like it's really fast this it's is great entertainment so the clip we're gonna cringeworthy. i know i know you're gonna die i know but it's so this good. is so dysfunctional <laughs> it's so good it's so, not good at all so the, there's nothing good the, chicago is not good <laughs> Getting married to someone you've never met is not good. No, they've met. They just haven't seen each other. Oh, Love is yeah. blind. So anyways, the clip that came up were of two of the people, and they're in their apartment in Chicago, and they start talking so about- So they're about to get married. The few, yes. Yes. So let's- So they're in love for 35 seconds now through the paper wall. 100%. And, God, yeah. Yeah, so Shane and- I know. And you are, you actually spent your time- it gets that you addicting, can't, though. Hours of your life, you will never get back on this crap. I know. But I'd you, be ashamed. But you I really start would. to, But you start to, like, know the people, know the backstory. Then I, you meet the families, and you're just— These are not people I want to know. You're just committed. You're committed. I don't want to know people that would do stuff like this. You're committed. So, anyways. They ought to be committed. Here is— <laughs> Oh my gosh, Catherine Shane, if anyone's listening that was on Love is Blind, I am with you. Dave is not, but I You're am. You're right, okay. I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I'm so not. nervous. I, had, I, I never heard of it until okay. just now. I know, I, that was the best part. I was like, I'm not going to tell you until on air, so you can just trash it. Yeah, okay. Die in your seat. Oh, I am. Okay, I'm so here's dying. the clip of them talking. Are you, re are you prepared for this? I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Here we go. I feel like we definitely need a two bedroom, but I think we should think about buying for a first place. Only because like, I'm like prepared for it financially, so. I mean, yeah, I need to sit down and like look at our finances though, because I don't do that at all really, which is kind of probably not smart. I mean, do you spend a lot on going out and like no. clothes or things like that? Where I spend my money is on food. How much? Oh my God, it, over like probably $2,000. Like, a right month? Soon. Okay, Shane, we like can't do that anymore. We need to be like really aligned on like numbers and like what are our financial milestones and like how much do we want in our 401k? I don't really uh. believe in 401ks. <laughs> what? I don't believe in 401ks. What do you mean you don't believe in it? I take risks a lot with that kind of stuff. So I guess that's where we are a little different. Like I take like like taking risks. We can't just live a normal life where we just buy a house and put money in our 401ks. <laughs> <laughs> this is just beautiful. We can't live a normal life and just buy a house and put money well, in our and, and we're, we have this we have we're, we're airing this to 20 million people on our show why i know because i saw just it, to I laugh thought, at this poor I, fool i'm not laughing at him oh, i'm I just am. saying here is the reality here's the reality and the get rich quick idea so what, what i was hearing from him as i was watching this because i thought oh no shane no he says he doesn't believe in 401ks but there's the reality of the get rich quick right Everything that we're that we've talked about, I feel like recently on even the building wealth event, all of it is like there is this 
need and this desire and this excitement for a percentage of the population that they're like, I don't want to just be safe. I want to go and do something crazy because if I do something crazy and I take risks, it's going to pay off. And the danger in that, no, it's dangerous. I'm just... (laughs) I like to ascribe, when someone's making that argument, I like to ascribe 25 years more emotional maturity to that person than that guy has. That guy's like four years old. <laughs> I mean, that he's just, I spend $2,000 on food, and I don't believe in saving money. I'm just going to get, he's, he's really not a bright young man. But, well, Shane, I mean, not in the financial space, and maybe not the romantic space either. <laughs> Um, Anyways, I saw it and I thought, I was just thinking oh, of her no. dad. Her dad is watching this going, Well, oh they didn't get God. married. They got to the altar and she Thank said you, no. Jesus. She said no. So probably for a lot of reasons. But <sighs> but it's a, uh, yeah. But anyways, I saw that and I thought, man, that's. So here's the thing. There's a couple things. We talk about this in Building Wealth that, that drive people to get rich quick. Okay. Uh, one is fear and one is greed. Yes. Okay. And in Shane's case, it's. Um, I think it probably falls in, I, I'm guessing here, but it sounds like it falls in the greed, greed bucket right, yeah. because he wants something for nothing. Yes. He doesn't want to pay a price to win. No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but it yields a harvest of righteousness. You live like no one else. Later, you get to live and give like no one else. Children do what feels good. Adults devise a plan and follow it. One definition of maturity is learning to delay pleasure. And that's why my brain is melting down watching this good-looking young man who has the emotional maturity of a four-year-old and um you know he's just a disaster and um and sadly i know him i mean i don't know him but i mean i well there's a i'm an old fart but i used to hang out with people that did that and i i was always the nerd that was forward-looking so i even when those were my friends in college, you're sitting around, and that guy's sitting beside you telling you the same stupid stuff. You know, I'm always looking at the guy, even back then, going, you, you're, you're, it's not going to turn out well for you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, and I think the, the, the sad thing is, is that the predictability and the stability of the quote-unquote 401k or paid-for house, all of that, right, that it feels it, boring and it's not exciting and there's nothing um, – the only, flashy the only thing, about it. It, it's just the only one that works. That's, That's the I only know. thing. So I'm just saying too, I'm like, it's just sad that we've gotten to a culture that things that do work and that do take time and that delayed gratification, all that, like it's not, it's not celebrated. Like it's not, yeah. you know what I mean? For some people, for some people. I guess it fits into a culture though, where a show like that's popular. Oh yeah. I mean, Cause there's probably... the culture is failing. <laughs> <laughs> The that culture, could be debatable. The culture is failing. The, the <laughs> end is debatable. near. The end, end is, is near. near. When you just go, oh, Love you, is blind. Jeez. It's, I mean, it was how drunk when, were these people when they came up with the show concept? Oh. Hey, it's like the number one on and then, they, and then they go to Chicago. What? Chicago? I'm just telling you what the show's about. I'm I not, know. I'm not endorsing the lifestyle. I'm yeah, just saying. Just, yeah. That's what it is. But you but... watched it all. Oh, every episode. Every episode. <laughs> oh. This is the Ramsey Show.